But today, a magistrate judge ordered that Harold Martin, who is accused in a massive national security agency threat, theft, is going to remain uh, held in government custody. He agreed with prosecutors that Mr. Martin posed a, a flight risk if released. This was a theft that occurred over the course of two decades. Documents dated from 1996 to 2016 were found at his home, and that's one of the reasons that gave the judge a lot of pause that this is somebody who carried out this theft uh, unchecked, unencumbered for two decades um, and stored it all across his home and in his car. And that was one of the factors that the government had argued for holding him and the judge agreed with that. They found 50 terabytes in his property. That's roughly the equivalent of um, 200 laptops and they say a substantial amount of that information is highly classified. They're still going through that. Right now he faces a maximum of 11 years when you combine the two counts he's been charged with. However, the government has said they plan to bring additional charges under the Espionage Act, which could result in a potential life sentence. How Martin and his family are deeply disappointed uh, with the judge's ruling today. Uh, we believe that Hal Martin uh, poses no risk of danger at this point uh, to his country. How is no uh, risk of flight. He loves America and trusts in its justice system. I love them. That's it.